Hey YouTube, JB from Oz here. Well, today this old girl is going to submit to my will. We will get her to start, you bastard. So, stay tuned for more hijinks and happiness. When we tried to start it last time, there's two fuel tanks. The front one is usually a carrier tank, I believe, or some other easy start fuel, maybe metho, not sure. The rear tank is usually what you'll run it on. There's quite a big tank versus quite a small tank. Two injectors or two nozzles, needle valves. And when I went to start it last time, the carrier in the front and diesel in the back. There's a baffle between the two, and I believe the carrier leaked into the diesel tank. Secondarily, I think the carrier tank was blocked, so it wasn't actually getting any carrier out when I undid the needle. So the only fuel I was able to get in was diesel. And anybody who's tried to start a cold diesel by hand cranking it knows that that's a fun exercise. And see the previous video if you want an update on what that looks like. Secondarily, we didn't have compression. The motor had sat for a while. And we've got compression in our now the issue I found was up the front, there's a valve and because it had been sitting for a while it had a bit of corrosion or crack or some sort of congealed muck on it. So I just ran the valve circular on its seat to basically give it a chance to scrap off whatever was on there. I'm just doing that again now quickly. That should be our exhaust. Alright, now I'm going to pull the tank off and drain out the diesel and get a container for that. And just start with Kero today. Be back in a minute. The rearward needle. And drain the tank of whatever's in there. yellowish, bluish, gungy colour. Alright, so now I'm going to flush it with a little bit of caro first. So close that up. So we definitely have Caro in the tank now, and I will return the tank into position, connect the first junction, and then crack the bottom nut, drain the prime the fuel through. Notice we're doing all the thinking stuff first this time before all the physical stuff. So that we're not totally knackered before we start to use our brains. Okay, now I've got a pissoir of caro, being the technical term. Trick. 
some oil on some bits. All right, so where's our starter lever? Direction of stroke is this way. That feels like we've got some compression happening. Do you have a compression release there? I do. All right. Fingers crossed, and we'll have an outcome. Where's your brother? <laughs> Can you do that with your thumb out of the way? Okay. Can you do that with your thumb out of the way? Sort of.
socket. Alright, we gave it a pretty good shot. We managed to get some smoke coming out. We've got compression, but we're still getting some sort of issue. It might be that the rings are getting blow by. It might be that I'm just not cranking hard enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Or comment if you really think that uh, I should have just got this running. Anyway, come back, look for version 3, hopefully, when we get this old girl running. Thanks for watching.